happy Wednesday. I'm just, uh, I'm getting us on and organized so that I can see you all. Okay, I found myself there. YouTube happy peeps. Wednesday. I have got you up and running. Now, I did hear from someone, uh, she was saying that there's things you can do on your end if your volume is, um, if you're struggling with your volume. Because I haven't changed mine, and in some videos, like, it's totally normal. So, just making sure that your volume, both on your computer and if you're watching on YouTube, in the YouTube app, are turned up as high as possible. So, I can actually move mine back and forth with my mouse. So, just be careful where your volume is set at. But they, I did get that word of advice from someone. I'm like, okay. Okay. Next. I wonder if I turn my YouTube volume off and then I turn this volume. I'm, I'm playing with things to see if it helps. Okay, um, so YouTube peeps, I can see you. You're good, you're up. Let me just grab our Facebook peeps and then we're gonna start playing. How is everybody? It's Wednesday, thank you. Whoop. Turn my volume off on that video. YouTube peeps, everybody. There we go, and I found myself. Okay, you've been sick, I'm sorry. That's not fun, that's really not fun. Like, let's be honest, none of us have time for that garbage right now. Um, there, I'm just making sure that I can see everybody's comments, then we're good to go. Hi, Feline, how are you? I don't want top, I want live. There we go. Hi, Amy Judd, hello, peeps. Okay, I'm fried, I am right with you. I don't know how you all feel, but this is the longest June I've ever experienced. You're like, wait a minute, it's not June. No, but June's the stage in the year where we're usually kind of crawling as teachers, and I feel like I'm already there, but it's only November. So it's, but I feel like this is everyone right now. We're all just hanging in, right? So again, um, staff meeting today ran in, and many nights of hockey this week, which I have to admit, I do love to watch. However, I don't love recovering from because I'm too old to stay up late. And as you can tell from the hair, it is pouring and disgusting out in North Van. Hi, Tammy. Okay, let me turn off the banner. And let me flip you over. I've got some bits that I was kind of playing with. There we are. Look at Like my mess? I've started with a mess. How appropriate. Um, I did. I disassembled an envelope right away. I love disassembling these envelopes because I really love this piece of, just give me pieces of this. That's all I need. Hi there, Spicer. So I've got that one there. Um, and so I have done that. I have taken, this is just the regular piece that was in it. That was the punch out one. I've got a piece of my metallic, a silver metallic specialty paper in here. And I just cut a one eighth of an inch border. So it's a five inch by three and three quarters. So I did a five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. This guy is one and seven and eighths, one and seven eighths inch wide. And this one is uh, two inches wide, just so I could have a little mat. Okay, so that's where I was starting. Then I was just trying to assess where I wanted this piece. These aren't going in. I just pulled everything just for the sake of doing it. And then it was a matter of, okay, who do I actually want in? So although I like this guy, I feel like if I'm gonna put him on, he's gonna need silver, okay? So that was one option. My other option was to turn this from a banner into a flag, so kind of flag it coming out, and then over top, give it like the little sentiment strip here. We'll zhuzh it up with some snowflakes. We've got our super cute little embellishments. Sad we don't get paper pumpkin. I know, so AIM, it's funny. It's actually really funny that you say that because I was thinking about that and I'm like, how can my peeps who don't get paper pumpkin kind of play along with this? Uh, there's no, there's this silver uh, specialty pack, honey, that's um, Jack, that's got the different, three different silvers in it. Okay, so this is our evening evergreen, or sorry, evening, ele what's it called? You know, it's that punch. So here, let's go along here. Let's just do a set and see if we can kind of create something. I, I, this is my, my problem, it's me lining things up. Me creating something similar. Ooh, it seems to be working. Okay, sorry, I'm just kind of spazzing out here. Oops, of course my punch locked. No, don't just finish it, don't wreck it. There we go, okay, I think we got it. Okay, so now I've got this beautiful big piece of silver. I've caught you twice in one week, yay Anne! Um, and so, because we don't have these exact trees, but I was like, okay, how could we make them up? 
Well, you could take the evening evergreen ones. Not evening evergreen. Evening, but I don't know, evergreen elegant. What's it called? I have no brain. I'm so sorry. But see how I could potentially go in and I could make more bits. Like, I feel like that would work. Now, this is the one thing I'm going to check. This dude is a two-inch circle. So you guys are going to be doing a little voting because that's how we roll, and I can't think enough to do things on my own. Pause while I just assess. I just need somebody who is. That's the one I want, baby. Just a sec. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is I'm bringing in our big boss. Um, yay for more bits. I know we love bits. So you can take your bits and then you could create more bits and you could play with the bits. And if you don't have the bits in your country, well, let's get those trees. Let's get you that. The cabin dies make those trees. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah. And I, I don't have the cabin dies. It wasn't, it's not one that, you know what? We've all got our little interests. That was, I am not a person who's going to use that one. And yet I see the cards that somebody has done. They're pretty amazing. A pack in the mini. Yes, perfect. There we go. Okay. Dude, dude. They're kind of a funky tree. I do like the kind of abstract quality to them. So I'm going to just give myself that in case I want it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it is beautiful. You have to know how to use it, though. And I will admit, I'm a little challenged on some stuff. Like, I just can't get my head around it. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of seal here. Where are you, Mr. Seal? Do, do. Oh, I look comfy in my sweater. It's just gross and rainy here. Like, you know when you're, I think I was probably even too hot today because it wasn't super cold, but I just was like, meh, disgusting. And because I teach in a portable and back and forth into the building all the time, so you get pretty soggy unless you're smart enough to put on your jacket every time you go. I am not. It's a ridiculous amount of putting my jacket on and off. So much like small children, I run back and forth in the rain. Okay, there we go. So we've got that piece. Okay, let's take you. Let's adhere you. You can see right there where I took it out of the envelope because the back's got a little bit of a goob in it, but nobody will know. Hi, Linda. Let's come in here. There we go. And we'll stick that one down. Ta -da. Okay, so you guys know tomorrow, huge. And when I say huge, I mean huge deal. So all my Canadian peeps, pay attention. My worldwide peeps, I want you to find your local demo. So we have a huge sale starting tomorrow. Oops, I said my signal got a little iffy there. Uh, huge sale starting tomorrow, and it is called the Start With Savings. So you can actually get a Stampin' Up! starter kit. You could pick, I'm not kidding you, $165 worth of product. You don't pay any shipping on it. Oh, nice name, Judd, which means that'll save you right away $16.50 in shipping. So you pick $165 worth of product, but they're only going to make you pay $100 plus tax. And I look, oh, no, I'm not frozen. Okay, good. I thought my hand was frozen, but apparently it was just not moving. Okay, so this is huge. Uh, I will be posting a link, a little video on it tonight, um, but I want you to jump on it, people. It's so exciting. This, I think I started during, uh, well, I started during Celebration when I started years ago. And I just think these sales where you can get hold of a starter kit is awesome sauce. Because then you can take advantage of that discount for at least, what month is it right now? It's November. So November, December, January. Like, I, I have to go back and look at my thing to get my exact numbers. Okay, so can you guys hear? Let's decide. So are we going to go with? The, the gingham, which I will line up. It is going to cut into our trees. So if we do that, we have to just roll with it. It's such a good deal. Hi from GA. Okay. Are we going to give him this one on this card? Or do we want to flag him? Oh, you could even flag him with that. Okay. So this is how I'm kind of seeing it come together. Um, or could he flag out the other side? I joined a jam this year. I know it is fun to get all those things. I'm with you. I just, I'm thinking I could even flag on this side. Okay, and go like that. We could add in, oh, somebody's giving me all the faces. I love it when people post the mad face. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? I could add in my dots. I'm really tempted, throw this in. I'm really tempted to use this black ribbon in here too because we have, there's black in this and it's quite cute. So I think I'm gonna play here. You ready? 
I do like that. I feel like I like that better than that. Do you agree? What do you think? That was a fantastic offer. Which one do you like? Do you like the white tag or do you like the big green tag? White or green? Eeny or meeny or miny or mo? Who do you like? Tell me so. Okay, I'm waiting to watch your things now. But I can't see my YouTube peeps comments, so there I need to find them. Yay. Hi, Linda Webb. Oh, my God. I haven't seen you in so long. I hope you're well. And go easy on me tonight. I'm feeling overly sensitive. I'm in that mode where I feel like I just might burst into tears. Anyone else get that? Yes, black ribbon, round green, round green, no white, circle. Okay, look at us. We're making decisions. Does anyone else ever get like that? Like you hit the end of, you're just tired, and so anything can set you off. You're like, just don't look at me funny. No white doesn't look finished. I agree. Oh, poor Karen. She's going to get outvoted. All's good. No tennis tonight. Okay, so this dude, I'm thinking I want to pop him up. Let's assemble you two first. So let's type you. I like that. I like that it's a million percent. Or is it 100,000? I can't count your zeros. My eyes go cross. I know it's a million. Okay. I was like, I can't tell me zero she's got there. So I totally get like that. Even a smile. I know. Chris, what is that? Is that being in my mid-40s? <laughs> Perimenopausal? Woo, woo. <laughs> okay. So... I think for me, I would like to wrap this ribbon, black ribbon with the green circle. Okay, so I'm feeling like, let me just, I'm playing for a sec. I do like that pop of cherry cobbler all the time. At the moment, been on home orders except for essentials. I know, and Amy, I'm, oh, I'm so, oh, I know you guys love you. I love you too. I'm a month out from COVID. Tina, oh my God, I am so sorry, love. I, I have some friends that have had, like I, ugh, knock on wood, have been fortunate, um, but I have some friends and their recovery has been a long haul and exhausting. And I think mentally we're all exhausted with it right now. Okay. Now this, I will match up my gingham. So I'm going to pull you up a bit. I just have to figure out where to put the ribbon. This is going to get trimmed. Maybe I won't pop him up. Okay. So now I just have to figure out where to put my bow. Do I put a bow up top? Hmm. Three unfinished projects sitting on my table. Janet Kick, I get it. I stare at them too. I actually have so much to do tonight. Um, Rhonda and I have upcoming our Christmas baubles class, which I'm so stinking excited about. Um, but it is all oh, Tina see that. I think that's how we all found each other. I didn't I don't feel like I was I mean I was doing online, but not very much. And it has. It's been our like safety net. Okay. No, you're not quite where I want you. Just a second, I'm gonna fill you up. Um Anyway, so I have a stamp set that finally arrived today that I actually have to design with. And I didn't get that quite to the edge, but I can't peel it up. He's really stuck, like really stuck. Yes, red and black. Otherwise, too much green and silver. Okay, quick. I'm going to try and peel him just because he's going to bother me where I put him. He just needs to be over a hair more. I talked to my mom today, and they have some good friends who are all, you know, my parents are in their 70s. They're being very careful. They're being good. But they have some friends that they were able to go drive, and they're going to hang out together for a few days and play a little duplicate bridge, and it's good stuff. Okay, so we've got that on. Now, I'm not going to adhere this first because we have to figure out where our ribbon's going to go, but that silver looks pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. See, Jennifer, that's terrifying. Mm. I'm drinking pop. Sorry. Okay, I know I shouldn't be, but I am. But worry about COVID, you know, I'm sticking Pepsi into me. <laughs> okay, this guy's going to come quite low. So let's take you. Let's, unfortunately, became a long hauler. Roz, I'm so see, and like, I think that's it. Is it's not, there's so much to it that's an unknown. That's all. It's, that's the hard part. I don't trust my... People will say, well, you should trust your immune system. I don't. I don't have a great... My body does its own funky things all the time. It doesn't seem to be very well established. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one. And then this guy is going to get popped in just like that. But I'm going to pop him up because I feel like he'll look cuter popped up. Dude. Dude. Oh, I lost my shoes. Where did they go? i got to be here on the counter. I don't know why I just got that voice when I said it. Sorry. There we go. 
Um, boop. Okay, YouTubers, are you really being that quiet? Huh. No one said anything since Gianna K. Okay. I have a child who is Roz, very prone to pneumonias. And so I do worry with him, too. There we go. Let's come in here and let's take you. Let's put you in line. What do I want you? There, down, down. I want the trees to poke above you. Do I want to move you over a bit? Nope, that's too far, huh? See, this is what establishes it, is I got to line him up with his other buddies. And now he's going to come down. Come sa. There we go. Woo, woo. Did it. Look at us go. Um, yes, we are just sweet. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. Okay, so that's going to go on to there. Oh, you guys, can I tell you a bad Cooper and bad Harley story? I think Sean was going to sell them yesterday, and it'll make you guys giggle. Okay, now we just have to figure out where black's going to go. Yep, you got it. Roz, that's it, right? Life has to go on, but we have to figure out a way to do it, you know, where we feel safe. Uh. Okay, so Harley is back on his prednisone. And as any of you who've ever been on prednisone will know, prednisone makes you very hungry. So you take a Rhodesian Ridgeback who's always food driven, regardless. We just have to figure out where our ribbon's going to go. We'll put it across the top. Um, and you throw him on prednisone and then you have like, I don't know what to call He's like a great white shark right now. He's always lurking. This is just going to get a knot. It's not getting a bow. This doesn't feel like a bowie card to me. Maybe it is a bowie card. I don't know. A few years ago, asthma prone, period. Health department last year. Good Lord. Um, okay. I need a bit more ribbon. Just a sec. I'm going to give myself enough that I can tie a bow and then potentially just chop off the bow if it doesn't work. So, Piranha Boy, or Jaws, whatever you want to call him, Sean was cooking supper last night for us, and we had 9.30 hockey, and I was trying to get some cards designed and get some stuff done, so Sean's like, you know, you just do you, I'm upstairs, I'm good, and all of a sudden, I can hear from the basement, doof, 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 doof. I would line, line those just like you did, but no, Janet, I totally agree with you. I didn't know what you all were voting on. Purple, you're so cute, Denise. Um, Janet Kay, I for sure agree with you. Nobody else who I gave the card to would ever be bothered by my weird lining up. It's only us crafters, right? Like, we would pay attention to that. Um, anyway, so I hear Sean's feet, and they're going boom, 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 boom. Well, Sean had just finished. He'd done a lovely uh, Alfredo, like a chicken out with, you know, whatever, with ravioli, and, and he'd grilled the chicken, and... Um, put it on the counter and he went to call the boys <laughs> jaws jumped in and jaws got a chicken breast and a half now jaws aka harley would never have done that before although he's always been a very food motivated dog he knows better than to steal stuff oh i know at least weed makes me happy yes yes it would ross see but it would make me hungry um now, just trying to tie this, but I'm having an issue, so just a sec. I'm getting sparkles in places. I was going to say, I've got sparkles in places. I don't want it. Is there any place we don't want sparkle? Yes, there is, actually. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ooh, it's actually pretty cute with a bow. I think I might leave it. Oh, no, Dad. Yes, Dad was mad. Okay, so, of course, it gets better. Sorry, knock the glitter off here because we've got some ribbon bits left over. Yes, I like. Now that's going to work for me, and he's going to go on to there. Anyway, so that was Harley, who was a bad dog. So Dad marched said, you get up to your bed right now. So I don't know what Cooper was cracking me up, because Cooper figured he was in trouble too, even though he hadn't done anything. And so then Cooper went and put himself to his bed, because, you know, we're all on time out. Well, then a few hours later, Daddy takes out the dog food downstairs. Uh, now we, my, I know, don't gross out, my dogs eat raw food. So you take out their meat kind of 12 hours in advance. It sits in kind of the sink and it defrosts because you can't heat it up. You can't defrost it. Like it can't have any kind of cooking aspect to it. Anyway, so daddy does that. And then all of a sudden he, and he always covers it with a bowl. So he puts an upside down bowl on the defrosting meat. Now you're hearing defrosting meat in the sink and it sounds really gross. It's all in packaging. Okay. So it's not like I've got like meat dangling around in my kitchen or my sink and it's the basement sink. I love that ribbon, but not the fact that the glitter flakes. Oh, she's allergic to glitter? Like, does it make her itchy? What does it do? Tell me. Oh my God, you guys, this car is turning out really cute. 
Um, anyway, so Sean all of a sudden he's upstairs, but he can hear the bowl going ba bang, ba bang, ba bang in the sink. So he comes downstairs, and again, Bad Dog Cooper, who's so cute. Um, not only is he attempting to steal the food, he is doing the unthinkable. And when I say unthinkable, some of you are going to say, no, it's not. Like, dogs do that. I've never had a dog do it. He had jumped up in the basement onto the kitchen counter. And when I say onto the kitchen counter, I mean all four paws. Now, if you've ever seen a pointer jump, they can jump very high. They're very agile. And bad dog Cooper. Oh, this is Cooper. Is Cooper so bad? So bad dog Coopy. He was in the sink downstairs trying to steal the frozen dog food. He's like, listen, I already had a timeout. I might as well do something to have achieved this. Anyway, so that was him. So Daddy said today that he was, uh, no, Cooper. So Harley was the bad one that stole the chicken breasts. Cooper is the one who went downstairs and jumped his sorry little tushy up on to the, um, yes, Harley's not such an angel when he's gone predcor. Um, Jumped up onto the counter in the basement. I'll just help myself. Might as well have a snack. Anyway, I think Daddy was going to sell them last night. It was pretty funny. I did have a giggle. Odd. Because you got to get mad, right? But they're super funny when they do it. And you're like, I think Cooper assessed. Is it worth it? Where's Dad? Can I get caught? Can I eat this before Dad comes down? He's such a brat, but he's so cute. Okay, my bad dog. Let's grab the little bits. And let's, oh, can we have these? I want these. I feel like I could use these instead. I know, I'm going to say it. I feel like I could use these instead of basic rhinestones. I feel like they would do it for me, people. Look at that. That Cooper. I know. Hi, Randy. Randy is so, it was funny. I met Randy long before COVID online. And I, we've never met, but I would like to meet her in person. I would like to see you. Okay, what are we thinking? I feel like we're having fun with these paper pumpkin alternatives. Lisa, are you on? Was that just a picture of your sweet grandson that I saw in your profile? I'm thinking it might have been. I don't know. There we go. Team, okay, now, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I feel like I should, I feel like I should do a class with this kit. And you're going, how can you? It's already sold out. It's not when your Anne just prepared and buys her 14 extra in case it's a super cute kit to do a class. So I feel like I could play. We could do one of each and then I could have my uh, adorable ones. No, look at your German short hair. But Jean, you got to admit he's probably super cute. Now, butter is the Ridgeback's weakness. That's like his kryptonite. If he smells butter, you definitely see a little nose pop up. Check him what's on the counter. Anyway, I am loving this. Where's the other one we did? I feel like I had a couple. I have had another one. Where was it? We did that one. There's two more. There's the two originals, and then I've done one other card. But I am loving this. So all I really added here, stuck to the kit with the exception of, added a little bit of silver foil, and we added the black ribbon. But I think it is very, very sweet. But seriously, you guys, where's the little page? From the cards that were in the kit, which are actually quite stunning. Love it, even though it does give us ideas, doesn't it, Anne? There's, like, you know, we went from simple cards like this. We judged it up. There's that gorgeous card playing with it, kind of turning it into something else. Every one of these had such an awesome kind of the bits. Are the opal circles like those embellishments? Jack, they're similar. Just a second. Let me show you. The opal rounds. Just a sec. There we go. Here's my opals. So these ones here are a little bit smaller and a little bit more of a silver sparkle to them versus just an iridescent. I don't know if you can see it. These are a bit more iridescent. These have a bit more silver kind of look to them. And they're, yeah, tinier. They're very sweet. But yes, Jack, you're right, because you could then replace it with that. So there's all kinds of hacks you could use to do your own cards that kind of went with this. So you could have that going across the back. You could really play. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope that you all have an absolutely amazing evening. And just a second, I need to find myself. Where am I? The part I don't want you to forget about is this. So if you have been a demo or you were one of my demos before and you've dropped because, you know, you'd spent the amount of money you were going to spend for a while and you needed a break, now is the time to sign back up. Okay? So I want you really to kind of think about this. 
do you need right now? Is there some Stampin' Up! products you need? Well, if you're going to buy, like if you did the math on this, hmm. I'm a math nerd. Does anyone else want to giggle? Should we call the car guy? Whoops! Who told me I should bring in my husband to deal with my money? <laughs> Bite me. Okay, so if I bought $90 worth of Stampin' Up! product, I would pay 110 Okay, so basically, normally you'd be able to buy 90 bucks worth of product, and you would pay the amount that you're going to pay for the starter kit. So you'd pay $90 worth of product, and you'd pay roughly $112. It's like one ten eighty eight, but right now you're going to pay that same price, that one twelve in BC, and you're going to get a hundred and sixty five dollars worth of product. That's seventy five more dollars worth of product than you would have got the other way, and you're going to have a killer. You're going to have our twenty percent discount for a lot. I'm scared. I'm going to drop. I know, Jack. These things happen though, and that's the best part about being a Stampin' Up demo. You do it when you can. You drop when you can't. It's not the end of the world. And there's no penalty, you guys. So you just take advantage of that discount. Anyway, we would kill to have you in our little West Coast Creators family. It's a pretty rocking team. Um, and we do our lovely like team meetings and all kinds of fun stuff, lots of challenges and things like that that happen. But we would love to have you. So if this is something you would consider, just watch for my email tonight. Or and we'll have sign up information on it too. I know, look at it. Mary's like, I'm already a demo. Can I sign up again? I know. Could be. I'll just take another starter kit. Anyway, mwah, I hope that you have a phenomenal evening. And tomorrow's Thursday. Oh, thank God. Don't have the kit, but I'm trying to use my tree punch. Good idea. See, look at you. We're all brilliant. Anyway, I, I may see you tomorrow. I can't promise. I'm feeling fried. I know I am feeling fried, and I know I need to do a little bit of downtime, but sometimes this is my downtime. Mwah, mwah.